Hello everybody, welcome back to another After Effects CS6 tutorial. This is Buddy Blackford. Today I'm going to be talking to you about orientation versus rotation in 3D camera views. So, so when you open up your rotation panel, if I press, if I uh, twirl down on my object here, and I go to transform, you can see that there is now orientation X Y and Z rotation now they both pretty much do the same thing but they are used differently and they are independent of each other if you come up to your rotation tool and click on it you can see up here that there is a drop-down menu now for 3d layers set orientation or rotation now if I move this right now and just rotate it orientation allows you to go all all over and not just on an axis if I if I hold my mouse over an axis and it has the letter there and I move it it'll constrain it to that axis so orientation values move separately than rotation values so if I put this over the Y and move on the Y axis and rotate it you can see that none of the rotation values moved at all. So I'm going to go back to zero and switch to rotation and just show you that the orientation doesn't move when I move the uh, other uh, rotation values, as you can see there. So why would you have two separate things here going on here? Well, since we're in 3D space, you don't want to have to mess with your orientation while you're doing a rotation. So think of orientation as setting up your position's pose. Then think of rotation as using to uh, using rotation to animate. So I'm going to use my orientation to set up the way I want this guy to start out. So like that. Now I don't have to mess with uh, keyframing rotation at all. He's already oriented the way I want him to. Now if I want to start moving him around oops sorry let me go back to all the options so it's easier to see. Now if I want to start doing keyframing and, and moving this guy around while rotating him so we got that let's add a so let's add a uh, let's do a Z rotation just for fun one time I just typed in one in the in the time section so that we got that going on there I look at this and the client is like I don't really like the way this guy's facing in the beginning. Now you don't have to mess with this uh, rotation that you just made. You can just change his orientation. Alright, you want him looking like this? Okay, good. There you go, client. Now I don't have to mess with a bunch of keyframes anymore. He's already oriented the way I want him to be. So, thank After Effects for uh, separating these guys so we don't have to go through everything and fix keyframes all the time. Those are the differences between orientation and rotation. Just remember orientation is setting up your pose. Rotation is for animating and keyframing. So that's the end of this tutorial. Remember those when you're using um, when you're using After Effects and you're on a project, you don't want to be the guy who animates your orientation and then when you pass off your project to the next person and they got to fix it, they're going to be really mad at you. So make sure you follow those rules and um, have a good one. See you guys in the next tutorial. I'll uh, be around. See ya.